As a new Congress is sworn in today, it's day 13 of the government shutdown, a prolonged problem that is impacting Siouxland in several ways. KCU 9 reporter Jessica Watson looks at how farmers in our area could be affected. It's our top story tonight. President Trump authorized the Department of Agriculture to start sending out the second and final round of the $11 billion in payments to farmers hit hard by tariffs. A large chunk of that is going to soybean farmers. That authorization came in just before the start of the shutdown. Farmers are still able to apply for those federal funds through the 15th of January, but when those payments will come is uncertain. We really don't have an answer for that right now. We don't know. Um, I haven't read a source that's super reliable one way or the other saying that that's going to happen. Um, but I'd say that's a big concern for many farmers. Many farmers also rely on reports at the beginning of the year to determine what crops they will be planting. Reports not coming during the shutdown. We don't really know if China's buying soybeans right now because we don't have those export market reports. As the shutdown continues, some government departments like the USDA and FSA will soon run out of money, giving farmers even fewer places to turn. Elwyn Taylor is an extension climatologist. He says farmers will keep growing regardless. Farmers are always concerned, always over concerned, but they still plant and do their best. So somewhere deep inside of them, they have the hope and the reality that in the long run, this is going to work out. Farmers I spoke with off camera say they're confident their crops and farms will be okay. Reporting in Vermilion, Jessica Watson, KCAU 9 News.